Hello, you guys, and welcome back. I am so excited to finally be sharing my take on the Dollar Tree Sunflower DIY Challenge. I have four sunflower DIYs for y'all, so let's go ahead and get started. For the first DIY, you're going to need this family sun, and we're just going to go ahead and cut the jute off of that. Now we're going to take some ivory chalk paint, and we're going to give the front of it three coats of paint. I usually like to put this part in a little later in the video, but this is the only big gap I have, you guys. So I just wanted to quickly tell you, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would be so appreciative if you would share with your friends and family or on all your social medias. And this challenge is a collab with actually Allie. So don't forget to go check out her video as well as her channel and subscribe to her. All right, now we're going to mix together Wicker White by Folk Art and Truffle to get a light brown. I actually went back and repainted it a little darker, so that's why when you see it, it will be darker than this. All right, so instead of just fixing where the brown had got on the front, I decided to just take a little ivory paint, go over it, and then rub it in. Now using this welcome fall sign from Dollar Tree, I'm going to front, I'm going to paint the front of it with the ivory paint. I'm going to do three coats and then I'll be back. So once I was done painting, I cleaned up the sides, just wiping my finger down it. And now I'm going to use a sunflower from Dollar Tree and glue that right onto the A of family. All right, all we have left to do now is add some hot glue to family and stick it right on top of that other sign. And this is how it turned out, you guys. I'm, I'm obsessed. I know I said this every video, but I love this sign so, so much. And for $2, you just absolutely can't beat it. All right, now to my second favorite DIY. This is a sunflower floating candle DIY. And I just... Uh, my fiance definitely wants this in our wedding. So yeah, that says a lot. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need two of these vases from Dollar Tree. Add some uh, marbles into the bottom. I, I chose to use clear. Now I'm gonna use a sunflower from a bouquet. Add some hot glue to the bottom of it and then stick it right down inside. And because it wasn't glued down enough, I went ahead and pulled it back up. You can see there are marbles still stuck to it, but that's okay, because that's what we want. Add some more hot glue and then stick that down once again. All right, so now I'm just going to add some tap water and fill that up. And then I'm going to add these luminescence floating candles right on in. And then I'll do the exact same thing for the second candle. All right, you guys, simple enough. I know I am just ah, speechless I guess I don't know I think they're so cute I mean they're such a simple DIY but they add such a beautiful elegant look to my fall decor all right now to our third DIY this is a scrabble type DIY and I thought it'd be perfect to put it in with the sunflower DIYs of course so you're going to need the Tumbling Tower games and the Woodcraft cubes. You're going to need four of the Tumbling Tower blocks. And you're just going to glue those right onto each other like this. Alright, now we're just going to flip it over and add on four blocks to the back. All right, so I had stenciled some letters that were actual Scrabble letters uh, from Pinterest, and I made sure that they were going to be the exact right size to fit my blocks. I shaded the back, and then I just transferred them right onto my blocks. And then once I do all my letters, you'll see me do a few of them. Then we'll move on to painting. So 
So I decided to use black by Apple Barrel and actually paint on my letters and numbers. But you can absolutely use a Sharpie if you like. That is completely up to you and your preference. A Sharpie would absolutely be easier and faster. All right, you guys, that's all we had to do for DIY number three. Another very simple, very cute farmhouse DIY. I absolutely love it. All right, now this is my favorite out of the four. This is our fourth and final DIY. It's a mason jar sign with a bow and a thankful on it. All right, so you're going to need this Hello Fall mason jar sign from Dollar Tree. We're going to flip it over. And we're just going to cut off that jute. We're going to use this flowers calendar from Dollar Tree. And I did just want to give you all a quick look at all the flower backgrounds that you could get if you buy this. So I think this would be good for DIYs all year round. Obviously it's got summer and everything else. But look at this sunflower background. I could not have gotten more lucky by finding this at this time. So I'm just going to cut out that page. Now I'm going to use some tin foil and I'm going to uh, crumple it, make it imperfect. All right, now all we have to do is align it up with those little edges, clip it on and then fold it around so that we can get a good idea of how we need to cut this. I'm going to use a pen to just kind of indent where I need to cut, take it back off, but leave it folded up exactly how it needs to be and cut off where you drew the line. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm actually going to cut off some of that extra that will be in the back of it. All right, so now we're just going to place it back onto the mason jar. Make sure that you're lining everything up and that you have those edges smoothed down the best you can. We're going to use a little hot glue to glue on the tinfoil to the back. And I really wish I wouldn't have done this, but I did use a little hot glue on the front as well. But I really wish I hadn't, which is why I ended up using this Loctite super glue to get the edges glued down. Um, because then you can't, you don't have like bumps and all that from the hot glue. Alright, so now I'm going to use my little tool that I got in a foot care kit to indent the temple where I want it to use a sharpie and draw on the details that would be at the top of a mason jar. And then I just took my sharpie and drew on the lines where I had indented. Alright, so now I'm going to take my calendar page and I'm going to lay it on there and figure out how I need it to lay and then use a pencil to draw on where I'm going to need to cut. And then I'm just going to take some scissors and cut that right out. Alright, now that we have everything prepped and ready, we're going to use some Mod Podge. I chose to use matte. And right away, I am not pleased with how I did this. I actually preferred working in smaller sections because the Mod Podge soaked into the wood so fast. It was like really, really annoying. <laughs> I'll just be honest. So that's why you see me working in the smaller sections like this. So once we had the front Mod Podge on, we're going to flip it around and right away, once again, I was in a hurry, you guys. Um, I really wanted to get this fourth DIY done and in here um, and that was after I'd already tried one fourth DIY that didn't work out. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut, make a lot of slits around this. That's what I should have done on the first side. 
but I didn't. All right, so then you're just going to want to work in small sections once again using Mod Podge to um, seal down those edges, making sure that you're getting the very edge of the mason jar pressed down as well. So now once we've done that, we're going to flip it around and add, actually ended up doing two coats of Mod Podge on the front of this just to protect it because, I mean, come on, you guys, this sunflower background is absolutely beautiful. All right, so now using some Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel, we're going to add, at first I was going to dry brush it, but you definitely don't need to do that. Just paint it right on. And then what I did was take a paper towel and just blot it. I just wanted to tame that really, really silver tinfoil and make it look a little more antique, a little bit more rustic, and not so neat and perfect. So to match the top of the mason jar, I added the burnt umber onto the thankful sign as well. And then using some hot glue, I'm just going to glue that thankful sign right onto the side of the mason jar. And I'm going to show you all a little trick. I like to use some tweezers to pull off all that hot glue that ends up in between the letters of these uh, little metal words that we get at Dollar Tree. So I made this little bow and I did it off camera, but I can show you guys at another time. I just was running out of time, but I'm just going to use some hot glue and glue that on. And this is how it looks, you guys. I'm obsessed with this sign. This is definitely one of my favorite DIYs from the four. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. And don't forget to share with your friends and family or on all your social medias. And definitely do not forget to watch Ashley Alley's video for the challenge as well as the other participants for the challenge because let's be honest, you guys, they are some rock stars who will definitely be getting shout outs in my next video. All right. Thanks so much for watching and God bless.